How has glass changed my life? Glass basically is my life. Um, before I got into blowing glass, I got into it when I was about 22 years old and I was kind of like looking for something where I didn't want to like work for someone. I wanted to be my own boss. I wanted to be creative, work with my hands and kind of have the freedom of the kind of DIY, do it yourself lifestyle. Um, I just never realized that it would kind of keep going to the extent that it has, you know what I mean? Oh, shows like Age are just, they, like I said, they're the platform that allows us to be able to mingle with, with the stores in a, in a bulk quantity, you know? They're, they're the promoter. They're bringing us all together, you know? Eric and Ellen are, are literally connecting us. It's a big advantage to be able to come to these shows and, and do that. And as big as this industry is, it really has a, a niche, uh, a tight family-based group of all of us that have started from close to the beginning of, of the glass scene, you know? I would say, as big as the industry is, we all still get together and we all still connect, and it's because of events like this that, that we can do that. I started coming the first year. I didn't start exhibiting here at AGA until about 2010. Um, but I've always uh, come to AGE to check it out. AGE is a great platform for pipe maker because it's only pipe makers. And it's like um, other trade shows are good, but they have other things in there as well. This particular trade show, AGE, is great because it's literally collector, head shop owner, direct to the artist. And, the, you know, that's just a great you know, way to sell your work. It's not just an industry, it's almost like a lifestyle. Like, I don't. I don't know, it's a, it's a community and it's so much more than a job. It's, um, I don't know, when I come to these events and these trade shows, it's like coming back to a family reunion. You know, there's just so much support and, you know, we've all been growing and evolving together and it's been, it's been really cool to watch. <laughs> Being in the glass industry and just blowing glass um, has changed my, my life profoundly. I've always been a person that's looked for a creative outlet in one way or another. Glass definitely gave me a way to make money being creative, which has totally allowed me to become the person I'm supposed to be when you don't have the constraints of what normal society expects from people. When you're able to stop working a nine to five because your schedule doesn't need to have nine to five. You can dictate what you want to work and when you want to work. I end up working so much more than I did when I worked a regular job, but it never ever feels like work at all, ever. Yeah, life is pretty much glass for me. Glass is life. That's all I know, really. I mean, I do know other things. I, I'm a musician as well, but when it comes to art, Glass is the only one that really, really, really speaks to me. I can take this solid form from its raw shape and manipulate it, take something from my mind and make it real in 3D. And it's given me the uh, ability to realize that I can, I can show my emotions in other ways than just you know, wearing them on my sleeve. I come to one of these shows and every time I come here, it reiterates why I uh, do what I do and why I'm continuing to make the art that I'm doing. And I think I do it just because, I, I mean, it, I make a living doing it, of course, but also more important than that even, I think it's like an expression that I'm like, I'm putting out there into the world, you know? And, and it's, uh, you know, just wanting to inspire people. I'd say that's where my fire comes from. If there wasn't an AGE, I'd be forced to connect with glass floors over the telephone and through the internet, and I wouldn't be able to develop the friendships that I have with glass floors in the industry. And uh, at Mellow Mood, we don't purchase glass too often from strangers or whatever. We generally get to know people, really appreciate their work, and then begin doing business with them after that. Uh, AGE is a real close-knit trade show, so everybody knows everybody and it, it always feels like a family reunion getting together with lots of people you haven't seen for a while.
So I, I think really what I've experienced is you're seeing people become vastly more educated. You know, so you're seeing a bigger variety and a more educated fan base. Some people would say industry, and I feel like what we do or the, the, the people I consider to be um, some of the innovators, it's not quite an industry. You know, it's, it's more like a, um, almost like a tribe almost. There's like this element of competition between all these manufacturers of colors and the people making the glass and the people actually making art out of it. It fuels this kind of fire that like people want to come up with a new color, that new, new, like whatever's the hottest shit. Our palette's just getting way bigger and it's pretty awesome. So every time you come to one of these shows, there's always some like new hot color and they keep getting better. Man, AGE is like, since it, like I feel it first started, Eric and Ellen tried to do like, you know, just American made stuff. It turned the industry because we were making pipes and art as what we wanted to pursue it as, and then the whole industry is getting bombarded with all this other stuff that it affiliates with our industry, but it doesn't directly connect with us as much, you know? If we're trying to sell like a really nice piece of glass and there's like the Wizenator right next to us, you know, it's like, I don't want to put them on blast, but it's like we're in the same room as them, and it is a, a kind of like a that kind of market-driven product. So we were kind of like, you know, in the crossroads, and I think by AGE opening up, it like kind of opened up the doors for more artists to just be glass, just be like really nice kind of quality work. And it's evolved since then, you know, since I was coming in like probably 2008, maybe. So only a couple years after I was blowing glass, I got introduced to uh, Fathead Glass, and he always had the same room every year. So we always saw the same people, same shops, same glass blowers, and it was like a really uh, exclusive kind of vibe. People would just come into your room and say, hey, what's up, hang out, and like shoot the shit, and buy your work, and then see you progress every single year. <laughs> People like Darby, you know, he was the one that really, when I saw his work, I really realized for the first time that a pipe could be a piece of art, not just something that you smoke out of. It's like on a different level. And so we all live on that level now. It's pretty cool. <laughs> AGE has definitely changed things. It's, it's important to have a show like AGE. Uh, a pipe is a three-dimensional object. So if you shoot a picture of it and you send a picture out, it's, you're only looking at one side of it. So AGE provides that platform where a person, a shop owner can come, pick up the piece, hold it, actually see it all around, and, and really feel the piece out and see if they like it or not. I personally don't even really sell work too much throughout the year. I just stockpile it for this particular trade show. Come to AGA and just unload it all at once. That way I can work on a whole body of work that nobody's seen yet and just unveil it at once for the first time and hit a bunch of people at one time. And they're seeing it firsthand rather than pictures of it, which is just not the same, quite frankly. Oh, this industry is I mean, it's headed for mainstream. I mean, if it's in it, you know, it's in it. Look where we are, exactly. I don't think it's headed behind closed doors anymore. I feel, I feel like it is just coming out in the open. Like I said, I think it's being accepted as part of our society. So as we, we get into these next five years, it's really gonna be interesting to see how, how it just ties together into everyday life.
There's a lot of people don't know what's going on in our industry. We are a flourishing market, but still a, a, a niche. And you meet people every day that have no idea what you're doing. You show them a piece of glass and they flip out. How many people in the fucking world that are blowing glass are doing that same thing and showing people that don't know what the hell's going on? I've never seen a piece of glass like this, never knew that a functional piece of glass could be a piece of art. And it changes their mind and it's, a, it's just expanding. It's one of those things that for many years I thought the industry was gonna, not the, it's funny talking about the industry, it's, not, it's like still like a new turn to me. I thought the scene is more what I call it, was gonna probably just like filter out or end at some point. It, even like Operation Pipe Dreams, or lots of different things that have happened that made us feel like at some point it's just gonna end or, or it's kind of a dead end or whatever. But honestly, it just keeps snowballing and getting bigger and bigger. More people are getting involved in it. Um, I could see it becoming a little more mainstream, which is like good and bad. You know what I mean? Like, I'm happy that I did it when it was more of an underground thing. I'm happy I started before the internet. I'm happy I've been into it as long as I've been into it. You know what I mean? I'm happy I stuck with it too. Um, man, I don't even know. I don't know what industry's <laughs> got. I guess we'll just find out. like AGE is because it's an American glass exposition. It's like none of the other bullshit that you see at other, at other spots, like trying to display your work next to like a pocket pussy like fucking setup or like incense or whatever. So like that's why I like this show the most is because it's just like all about the glass. What do I have? I don't have anything against pocket pussies. It's just like I don't want to display my my nice piece that I spent like fucking a week working on next to some like fucking pocket pussy display, you know? It's like, there's a certain way of like presenting stuff and like, I don't know. It's like, damn, I, I spent all this time on this crazy piece and like, whoa, right next to it, you can like check all these different pocket pussies out and like, yeah, but at those shows, they do have cool shit like tasers and like fucking knives, knives and stuff like that. Yeah. Last one, we got a taser. Fucking so much fun, dude.